A part of downtown LA's rapidly expanding restaurant row at 7th and Grand Streets is Marshmallow. Chef Robert Luna specialises in East LA style Chicano food. Today we'll be preparing ground beef and pickled tacos. Start with garlic, finely chopped. Kind of a rough chop on the garlic. Uh, you need a hot skillet with olive oil, approximately uh, two tablespoons and a quarter of a yellow onion, just a rough chop. To this, we're gonna add equal parts of uh, russet potatoes, peeled and diced, it's like a half inch dice, and about 10 ounces of ground beef. We use a, a, a lean, like a 80-20, which is a percentage of fat to ground beef. My mom um, used to make me cheeseburgers when I was a kid, and one day she ran out of a uh, Roman meal. We only had wheat bread in my house, and uh, I started crying, and so she started to put them in, uh, in hard shell tacos. And uh, hence was born the uh, ground beef and pickle taco. Uh, to that, we're adding salt and pepper. We use a coarse ground pepper, and we're adding cumin. Here at the restaurant, we use a smoked paprika as opposed to like a domestic. It has a little bit more of a, uh, of a sharp flavor when you bite into it. It works well with the cheddar cheese. And this will let set up in the pan probably about five to six minutes, and then it goes into the oven. This has been in here about 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how fast your oven is. Oven set at 350. The potato is all soft. The ground beef is, is uh, incorporated with the potato. The starch has come out of the potato and absorbed a lot of the oil. And this you probably want to let sit until about room temperature, probably about an hour. Um, at that point, we're going to go in and fill our tortillas. The secret to making a hard shell taco if you're doing them at home, is to use a warm corn tortilla. So we're going to go ahead and just heat them up on the flame. The reason why we use a, a warm corn tortilla is because if you use them unwarmed, they break. And they'll crack in half and they, you can't fry them. You just take the mixture, put it kind of dead center in the center. It's a pretty simple thing. This folds up. So in a large skillet with probably two cups of oil. For this one, you want to use canola as opposed to like an olive oil. It gets a little smoky. The canola heats up evenly, and it's a simple fry. You want to have the ground beef as, um, as dry as possible so that you don't get a lot of residual um, splashing. You're gonna probably going to go about 45 seconds on one side, 45 seconds on the other, and that will give you a nice crunchy shell. Let it drain out a little bit. Go ahead and put them on your plate. Just get a clean towel, lot dry. At this point, you want to let them sit about 15 seconds just to get the initial steam off of them before you open them up. We use a sharp cheddar as opposed to a mild. We're using that smoky paprika. So a sharp cheddar sets up nice with the uh, with a smoked paprika. We use a kosher dill pickle. And this is the Mas Malo Malo uh, world famous ground beef and pickle tacos. We're making a bacon wrapped Ensenada shrimp. Um, we use a black tiger, half a piece of bacon, and uh, it's a simple roll. It's from top to bottom. Two tablespoons of uh, olive oil, and to that we're gonna add our shrimp with the wrap side down, where the, where the seam would be is what goes down first, and that will seal so they don't get unwrapped. Hot pan will usually take you about two to three minutes on each side. That's kind of what we're looking for as far as color goes, a nice golden brown. Um, to this, we want to go ahead and throw out a, a little bit of the residual grease from the bacon. And to this, we're going to add some chopped garlic. You probably want to use a quarter of a piece of habanero, and when you're peeling it and cutting it, wear gloves. To that, we're going to add a little cilantro and then a little white wine. Any, um, any white wine will do, Chardonnay, a Riesling, it doesn't, nothing in particular. You want to taste your wine before because a lot of times it's fortified and it has sodium in it. So you want to taste first what kind of wine you're using, then salt and pepper. And then to this we're using heavy whipping cream. And then by far my favorite ingredient, butter. And this is ready to go. Uh, plating this is really simple. Here at the restaurant we uh, serve only the shrimp with the sauce. If you're doing something like this at home, you probably want to serve it with a, like a nice Spanish rice, a nice rice pilaf. 
And that is the Ensenada bacon wrap shrimp. Pete's Cafe and Bar is a friendly neighbourhood eatery in the heart of downtown LA's Old Bank District. And that's next on our menu.